Hey there, it's Gabrielle Nicolet from Speech Kids and we're continuing our series on curiosity. And today we're talking about older kids. So these are four and five year olds who are finishing preschool, they're getting ready to go to kindergarten. And um, these guys are all about process. And so I'll walk you through some scenarios, but basically by age four, Kids are um, generally fully operational, verbally speaking, um, and they are playing in these very complex um, scenarios. And so they are using play to explore areas of interest. And so um, this is when, like, fascination with dinosaurs comes in or vehicles which may be an old um, standing like a long-standing kind of thing but now is when it really goes deep and so you get or, or um, space is another one <laughs> that really gets played up at this age and so you may have a child who's really curious about space who wants to learn all about space um, I had a little person once who wanted to learn all about the Titanic when they were four years old. Um, and so we had books and we had um, not so much videos because it wasn't a screen time kind of kid, but um, lots of activities. We did field trips to, um, you know, different kinds of marine um, experiences and learned about shipwrecks and um, all kinds of things that were related to this one topic of interest. And so this process, it's like an extended period of time now because um, the kids are a little bit older and they've got more of an attention span. They've got more capacity to learn while they're curious. They're not just sort of experiencing the world from a sensory perspective, which is what we talked about with twos. Um, and they don't, they're not trying to like shake things and figure out how they work, like we were talking about with threes. Now they're really exploring and learning in a more what we consider a more traditional sense and so this is when it gets really fun um, to provide those books to provide those um, those experiences field trips that kind of thing trips in these areas of interest don't overdo it they're still young and they need lots of time to just go out and like throw sticks at the fence okay um, but this is a time when you might enroll a kid in a, um, in a class that's on a subject of interest um, or, you know, um, have them play a, a team sport. I'm talking once a week for an hour here. Um, nothing extreme. But it's this time when you can start to get a little bit more structured about um, your child's interests and how they're expressing their curiosity. And so it can be really fun. Um, that's it for this series on curiosity. We're going to be talking about feelings in the next one, and we're going to spend quite a long time on feelings. So if you uh, liked this video, I encourage you to go over to my YouTube channel, check out my other videos, give it a like, subscribe, do all of those things that you're supposed to do on YouTube, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.